Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk about printing PLA and PETG. So I had a special request for this, and here you go. It actually came out pretty good. Now, I know what you might be saying. You might be saying, but Joe, look at this. This is nasty. But what I did, and I think this is kind of interesting, is I've been going through and doing these experimentations, if you will. I went back and I, I slowed down the time lapse. And the reason that this fell apart, and it, it fell apart here too, and I'll talk about these, because this was printed at 230, this was printed at 240. Now, in the time lapse, when you slow it down, what you can see is because of the higher temperature, the PLA is not cooling fast enough. And as the bed is moving back and forth, it's actually shaking this piece, which is still in a glass state. And, um, the, you, you can see, and, and I'm not sure, I'll run the time lapse. I'm not sure if you can really see because I really had kind of zoom in and kind of slow it down in the video editor. Um, but this is actually shaking. And what happened is the support here, the layer dropped out, so there was nothing to support the next layer, so it just began to fall apart here because it was jiggling so much. Uh, you know, where it had more support, it, it didn't do that. So you can kind of see in the areas where it, does, it, it lacks support, this is where this happens because it's not cooling fast enough. Now I could probably, I, I think I'm running the fan at 50%, but I, you know, it's, it's really, I think a piece of it's the dichotomy between the, um, the temperature of the PLA versus, uh, you know, PETG. So because 230, 240 is really, really hot for PLA. Um, now the interesting thing, and again, this is a non-scientific determination, but the strength of this um, chest pawn is actually very interesting. Because one of the comments I got is, Joe, why, why do this? Why mix these filaments? And, and I, you know, I wrote back and, and you know, explained, you know, in metallurgy, I mean, they combine different metals to create alloys, which have different properties. And so the same thing holds true with plastic. Now, as I've said before, this is not a hugely scientific experimentation. Um, however, I have been finding it very interesting, and I think it is actually a little bit productive in the fact, um, you know, some of these combinations could be very interesting, and I think this could be an interesting combination. Now, it would require some more fine-tuning, I think, to become productive. I think you'd have to run a pretty strong cooling fan on this to get it down but you know if, if we look at the rest of the object um, it's not too bad and 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 again I haven't really bothered to tune anything I've been basically using the same G code I just been changing the temperature uh, for the different plastics and experimenting with it in that uh, vein and you know I've done some overlays of this and you can again kind of see where it's a little PLA it's a little pet G the mixing still you know uh, is not perfect, if you will. So, anyways, I did find this interesting, and hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, hey, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe over there. Hit the bell button. You know, get the little things so you get notification when I put this out. Swag shops up in the corner. We'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.